Get these moving across here. It's coming. Oh, it's gonna fly. And there it goes. Whee! <laughs> YouTube Komodo Gaming here checking out tracks and yes folks it has been a long time since we've played this game so this was a normal series on my channel probably about a year ago comment down below if you remember it and yeah we kind of ran out of stuff to do we filled up a map now there has been some updates that have come out since but there is one major thing that's happened and we have new DLC and folks it's like a dream come true so if you recall from the last map, we tried to create a spiral that went all the way up into what we called the space town. And folks, check this out. Boom, we actually have a legit space level. So this new DLC comes with, of course, the environment that you're seeing here. Uh, you've got a new train, which is a kind of space looking train, maybe like a rocket. and. There are a ton of new items that we can check out down here in the sci-fi pack. So, we're gonna be doing this here today. We're gonna create a little world here and show you guys some of the new items. And overall, just have a little bit of nostalgia here on the channel. So, if you're enjoying this on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. Let me know, like I said, if you remember it from before. So obviously, I know the first thing I wanna do. I'm gonna create a big corkscrew, kinda like the other map. Uh, let's go into alt mode here. Actually, let's keep grabbing them. We're going to make these go up because at the top of these, we're going to actually have a, I'm going to say a space station, which I think that's one of the pieces. So we'll keep stacking these and then I might have to adjust the height on these just a bit to get it to where I'm happy. But we're going to build a space station up here. Let's go ahead and look at that real quick. I was kind of looking at some of these items, but... It's actually surprising. Some of these things are absolutely huge. Like, check out the space station. Like, that's ridiculous. So we can stick this in the background here, and we can build a ramp up to it with this. So we've got that. Let's go ahead and start down here, too. Uh, we might have to curve this the other way. I don't like the corkscrew aiming this way. So maybe we'll go over to the side. Uh, we'll build, like, a huge loop out here. And then we can place some of the items here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go out ahead and start to build without talking. That way we can stick a lot of the items down. I don't have to explain everything about them. I'd rather just show you guys a lot of the items. And then we'll do some building on the tail end of the episode here. So, using the powers of editing magic, I welcome you to the new world. Yeah, buddy, look at this. So, we switched our corkscrew around a little bit. You can see the ramp that goes up to the space station. This train goes down the corkscrew, and I made a simple loop here. Now, we can always add on to this, but it was really about experimenting with the new pieces. So check stuff like this out. You've got like a big spaceport here. Uh, we do have a station, but it is the old station. I was looking through the pieces, and I couldn't find uh, a new station. I was really hoping they would have something for this. Like, it seems like a little bit of an odd design choice to come out with a, a sci-fi pack and then not have, like, a sci-fi station. So, we did go with the plain one, but check this out. We've got our new little astronauts here, which, by the way, we can quickly go through uh, the items in the menu. So, you've got flowers, you've got rovers, you have a ton of different spacecraft, like satellites, space stations, we have rockets, uh, you've got UFOs. You got little habitats that you can use and a ton of different accessories here. Uh, we've got like pebbles, rocks. We even have like stuff like meteorites. And one of the most impressive items is this crater piece. So this piece is massive. Check it out. I've got one placed over there. We're going to place another one maybe right, right in this area. It's kind of hard to make sure it's on the ground, which I think it is now. Uh, hold on, let's get another piece out. That way we can see it. So yeah, look at that. That's so cool. It actually looks like it molds into the terrain. Like we really could have used these a long time ago when we were building the other map. Well, we always use these little like terrain squares, but these look so much more natural. So yeah, you've got that up here. You can see a meteorite shooting across. You got a smaller little uh, satellite here. And probably my favorite item here is the launch pad. So check this out. So we're gonna pull out another one of these real quick. 
So they come empty. So let's go ahead and place one back here. This is gonna look like a busy facility. So we'll place one back here and it fits that rocket over there. That's the large rocket you see here, but will it fit one of the shuttles, like a launch shuttle? I wanna say it will. So let's turn it this way and let's go into alt mode. And let's see if we can get it to rest on the pad. Oh, it does. Dude, that is so cool looking. All right, we could probably clear these two out of here real quick. So yeah, you come down this way. We've got a platform here or a station in front of the spaceport, which is probably in a little bit of an odd spot. But yeah, you can come through here or you can bypass it and uh, head this way. Uh, you take a left here. You got like a little observatory and we've got like a little village here, which these are all individual pieces. Check these out. So these are kind of modular. Uh, we can grab these and we can stick them together or at least make it look like they're sticking together. And then you can place a little moon habitat uh, door on it. So we can stick a door on the end. That's awesome. Now, another really cool thing is look at all the uh, characters we have now. We have engineers, uh, we've got people in spacesuits, we have robots, aliens. Uh, hold on, let's grab some of these dudes. And they'll automatically go over to the station so you can pick them up in the train. So stick these people over here. Uh, it's got a whole cluster of them. And watch, they're gonna march their little happy butts over there. There they go. So we've got that. You can see where they uh, they took a picture of the, the flag here in front of the spaceport. <laughs> I love the way they march. It's awesome looking. You know, we still need to create something crazy like a jump or something. We always did that in the series. Now, if we go over here, I did create a big bridge over one of the uh, one of the little craters here. And then if you look on the inside, we actually have a, a landing craft or a, a lunar lander, I should say. And it's got a little flag here. And uh, it's like somebody, maybe that's where they first landed or something. So yeah, I want to continue building here. So we need to add some more terrain stuff. I really want to do this real quick. Look at this crashed UFO. Maybe they haven't quite discovered this yet, even though they've built track over here. Or maybe they're just ignoring it's even uh, over here. So let's put that there. We could put little aliens over here. If you guys are this far out, will you actually run across to that station or will you stay here? Dude, I think I can make them stay. Oh, that's so awesome. They're kind of cute. They remind me a little bit of the uh, the Toy Story aliens. <laughs> so we've got those. We could put like an alien picking them up. So maybe we can get a UFO here and then we'll stick this one in the air a bit. So we'll go like up here like it's hovering over. Uh, do they have a beam? That would definitely be something that would be cool, but I don't think I see those. So yeah, they've got those. Now these uh, alien bush, mushroom and flowers are really cool because they're all different colors. So you can kind of add like a cluster of these over to the side. You know, we could be nice and just put a station over here. We can go pick up the aliens too, but maybe they'll just be scenery. Now let's go ahead and stick another station maybe over here. There we go. And then we can add, I don't know if those aliens are about to start running over here. I don't think they will. I think they're pretty much where they're gonna be. So maybe this was a part of the base too. We could just stick another little habitat area out here. Uh, we'll call it like a research facility. So maybe we'll place that there and then maybe we'll do a couple of these uh, little telescopes out here. I mean, I call that a satellite, but it says radio telescope. So uh, what are the robots? Oh, you have angry robots? Wait, do these like attack the people? Oh, let's place a couple of these. Yeah, those things look slightly disappointed. I don't know if they're gonna go over there and eat the other people or <laughs> what's about to, wait, oh. Nope, they're waiting for pickup. <laughs> Man, it kind of inspires me to go create another map, like another one of the normal ones. Now you can use the sci-fi pieces in a normal map. It's not only limited to this. So say if we had our old map, we could have built like a, a spaceport or something. Uh, that would have been kind of cool. All right, so some more items we have. We have some of the rovers. We got like a large one here. This one's actually really cool. It's got the robotic arms. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a farm bot from Scrap Mechanic. Like it's got a little bit of an evil look and then you have the small boy over here and uh yeah we'll have that we can probably have those a couple like way out in the distance uh make it look like they're exploring the uh the terrain a bit which by the way how far back can we go out here oh man you could really create some track out here there's the end of the map actually it seems like did the maps get bigger because i could swear that we used a lot of the other map but it wasn't this far out like, yeah, you could play stuff out here.
That's actually really cool. So obviously we should go for a bit of a ride real quick. Let's go ahead and load up the train and we're gonna reset it. So it's like it's coming off the uh, the space station behind us here and we can start to drive it. Oh, we didn't add any carts to it. All right, let's just do a little drive first and then we can add some carts. So we can come down here. You can always create like maybe a uh, train yard in space. Uh, we built a couple of those before. Uh, I don't know if they have any sort of fencing or anything for space. I guess you could use the, uh, the wrought iron fence and it won't look too strange. But we're gonna come down here Oh boy, I'm getting a little bit dizzy here. And shoot through here. It should turn us right. I guess we could put a turntable or something over here that we can aim either way. Oh, guess what, buddies? You guys aren't getting picked up. <laughs> oh, this environment looks so cool. And oh, there's the plants back here. Oh, I've got one randomly floating in the air there. I like this. All right, we're gonna turn left and go up the bridge here. And here we go. I still really wish they had a little bit different ramp system instead of making those wavy bridges. Uh, oh, you know what we need to do here? We need to put some of those supports down. That way it looks like this uh, bridge isn't floating. So there's a lunar lander over there. We're going downhill and then boom, we turn this way. Now, I don't remember if we can change the tracks or not, but it would be nice to be able to change the color of those. So yeah, if you look up, you can see the, the asteroid. You've got the, uh, the space shuttle up there. Going by the aliens right here. You guys gonna try to hitch a ride? And there they go. We got the UFO and then we're gonna make our way around to the other station So yeah, we can keep that train running and we know we spawn in more. I remember that was a huge feature this game had added uh, So yeah, you're gonna go over there and then I think maybe out here. Let's do it over here We're gonna make a little cutoff here And it's gonna go through Let's go something like this. So we'll do a turn here and we'll go, oh, well, let's go a little further out, and we're going to turn back into the track. Oh, look at that. We can make a cross. I don't think that actually works, though. I think that's the only way that works. So, by the way, that train's going to continue to go around. Uh, we can make, like, a little uh, train station here, or I guess we should say train yard. So what we want to do, let's grab a couple of these turntables, which I don't know how important these are right here. I guess we want to have maybe one or two of these so we can use these out this way and let's go ahead and bunch some track up here there we go so this will make it where you can navigate the yard a little bit those will loop into there let's get rid of this one satellite so we can have a back section here and this will be another little piece and then we can have a section break off from here now, we don't have the little sheds like we had before. I mean, we've got them, but they wouldn't match the environment. But we can start some trains back through here. Oh, look, there goes our train. It's passing by. So, we've got that. We can put some of the signage up. I guess that would be okay to put out here. Put some of that up there. And, man, I really wish we could use the train sheds. How bad do they look compared to the, the space theme? Uh, You know, it's not terrible they definitely don't look like they match i guess we should make the stalls all all the way across here we'll get rid of the one little satellite we'll place it on the back side all right so we got our trains here let's go ahead and add some passenger carts to train two here oh train two might have just went off the track there <laughs> probably should build these uh, stalls just a little bit more this way there we go all right, so let's go ahead and reset train two here. Okay, so I might've just killed the game by resetting train two. I don't think it liked what I just did. Uh-oh. All right, so the game decided it was gonna die on me there and it uh, it froze up at our new little uh, train yard, which I guess we didn't need to build the train yard over there, did we? Uh, let's go ahead and just do this manually. So we're gonna grab some more people I want to just load some people up and we're gonna have to build another station again because uh yeah i hadn't quite saved it there so an auto save feature would still be really nice all right so this time we are gonna actually pick up some aliens so let's go ahead and stick these over here stick them there and they're gonna run over to the uh the track there they go or to the station and let's place down another train here there we go so we have train three let's put some passenger carts on this so the passenger carts have even changed too. You can see they got, they've got kind of like a space theme here. 
So let's go ahead and drive this train. So let's go ahead and move it up here to the platform. Uh, I don't think we'll get around to building any sort of like a uh, hill or anything this episode or like a, a ramp. Uh, maybe we'll put some little speed things. And oh, I overshot this big time. Yeah, we're going to put some of those little things that speed up the tracks uh, up ahead. That way we can try to make the loop a little bit faster. All right, space dudes, get up in the train. Oh, no, nope, we're going this way. Hit the brakes. Ah, they're all ready to go on the next work assignment. So let's go ahead and speed this up. And boom, we are moving. We've got a train load of astronauts here. So obviously we want this to go just a little bit faster. So let's get our boosters. We used to always do some really insane things with these boosters. So let's go boom, boom, boom. And there they go. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get these moving across here. It's coming. Oh, it's going to fly. And there it goes. Whee! Oh, that's cool looking. All right, so we're back aboard. So, yeah, you can see our, our train yard's gone, which I guess we have to move it into a different uh, area or something. Something caused it to freeze, and the game was not happy, so we lost that bit of progress. But we're coming around to the station to pick up all the aliens. All right, we're coming into the station. Time to pick up the aliens. Uh, does this drop off the astronauts? I think it does, actually. All right. Oh, 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 oh we're shooting it. Hold on. Hold on. Nailed it. Look at that. Go backwards a little bit. Boom. All right, so they're going to get aboard. Uh, what about the other ones? Uh, are they going to get off? Oh, I guess everybody's staying on this train. You know, we should probably make the train even bigger. I forgot how big you can make these. Like, we were making the world's biggest trains, basically. Uh, I don't know why it's going backwards, but I'm adding carts to it right now. There we go. All right, that looks a little bit more ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's cool looking, though. All right, we have an extremely long train. Let's go ahead and get moving again. There we go. And we're going to drive them all back to the spaceport. Now, I don't know how to get everybody to go away, but... Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Dude, look how big the train is. Kind of makes me want to do some more of the insane videos we used to do, where we make the really long trains, go over the jumps, and it was just pure chaos and death. Which I know that sounds kind of weird for a game like this. All right, here we come back to the port. Uh-oh, there's a train in the way. Now this is going to be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll be good. We'll just run right into it. And... Oh, yeah, I forgot there's no real crash physics. Hey, it actually looks like we're pushing it a little bit. They didn't make it where you can hook multiple trains up together. That'd be cool. But anyway, so I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode. Just kind of wanted to show you guys some of the new update here, some of the new items, and let you guys know that the game's still awesome. Now, uh, whether or not we're going to be playing it anymore, that's purely up to you guys. If you want to see more, let me know down in the comment section below, and we will see you guys next time.